Hello, this is your devotion for Friday, September 11th. And our reading this morning comes to us from the book of Hebrews, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 11th verse. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool, because by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First, he says, This is a covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, there is no longer any sacrifice for sin. So the entirety of the letter of Hebrews is really a long argument to people of the Jewish faith at that time that Jesus had perfected the old sacrifice system whereby if you committed this particular sin or that particular sin, some sort of sacrifice needed to be made. And the logic of that was that if this sacrifice system could actually take away sins, then shouldn't the people be getting better? It just shows that the law can never truly change us. It only provides the boundaries by which we are able to be judged as good or bad, or certain actions can be judged as legal or illegal. The author of Hebrews makes the point that Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. There is no other. And once he has made his sacrifice, no longer is there any sacrifice needed. His death covers for all sins at all times. This does not mean that we have free reign to do whatever we want because Jesus will cover it all. In fact, the author of Hebrews makes it very clear that he personally takes a very dim view of those who sin after receiving Christ. But what's most important here is to understand that Jesus is the Savior and there is no other. And we ought not wait for anything else to look for Jesus plus something. It's just Jesus. Jesus alone is our faith in his sacrifice that puts us right with God and covers for all of our sins. That and nothing else. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrifice and that it was enough to cover for everything. Protect us from dishonoring your sacrifice by sinning, though we can never live perfectly. We pray that you would make us better every day and that you would keep us from all things that would be harmful for us. Be with us now and always be with those who are seeking you but have not yet found you and help us all to remember that your grace alone is all that we truly need in this world. We do have earthly needs, but as long as we have you, we have the most precious thing we can possibly have. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon.